Hello and welcome to my workshop. Today I'd like to start off by making a bit of an apology um, because I've been away for two months on business but um, yeah I'm back. So um, it's Christmas now and um, so what I thought I'd do because I've had a lot of requests to do this is uh, I'll take you on a bit of a, a shop tour and uh, show you the sort of equipment that I have here. So let's do it. So first of all the shop itself is um, 110 square meters of floor area uh, which I think is uh, 1050 1050 square feet something like that. So um, as you come in through the door, the door is in one corner of the workshop. Uh, we have uh, one of my old desks with a, a computer on that I use sometimes. And um, of course there's Gwen, the CNC router machine, which hopefully this week uh, I'll have fully operational. And um, we'll start doing some work with that. And uh, obviously the computer area that uh, I use to uh, program the CNC machine and run it from. Turning back, um, obviously we live in Australia, so or Tasmania, and uh, we have a number of fridges and freezers, and we live out in the country, so we have a storage of food and drink and what have you. Um, another cupboard storage space, and there's two. Um, big lift doors here which uh, I think they're about four and a half meters maybe five meters high this central one uh, gun safe and just a standard size um, roller door and of course because we are on acreage and we have lots of uh, grass we've got to have a fairly decent um, lawn mower to do it um, this is my equivalent to a Harley Davidson. It's a V twin, uh, 27 horsepower. So, uh, yeah, good machine that. And um, at the moment, I've got nowhere else to store um, horse and uh, and uh, goat food as well as the uh, the sheep. So uh, I've got it in here at the moment. I do plan to extend this wall, this far end wall here, out um, another three to four meters and close it off from the main uh, shop area to uh, so I can get some of this stuff out. And uh, of course this is um, <clears throat> the other corner now looking back towards where the CNC machine is. So I'll just take you back through this way. Um, stereo, you've got to have a bit of music, a bit of entertainment, and videos, and uh, I, I, more storage space. Um, this is some machine um, vices and uh, a rotary uh, device there for the, the miller machine. Um, it's a, a drill mill. Um, if ever you're thinking of getting something like this a drill mill get one with a geared head uh, no belt changing no belts wearing out um, I've had this for about 12 years now never missed a beat uh, grindstone uh, for sharpening drills and tools press uh, and the lathe which I still haven't cleaned actually <laughs> I should, uh, I should actually spend a few hours cleaning this up. Anyway, um, Tasmania, yes, uh, Australia. It gets blooming cold here and we do have snow uh, for three months of the year. So obviously I have a, some form of heating out here. Uh, so that's a, a wood burner. Um, now then. This is the first mill that I ever, ever bought. Uh, this is about 15 years old now. I think in America it's called a Grizzly. 
but they have nylon gears and they strip. It's the second lot I've had stripped. So one of my projects for this year is to convert this to a, a toothed belt drive. Um, I just got to get around to doing it. So, but that's a, it's a handy little machine if you're doing light work. Really not made for heavy work. Um, this is a metal cutoff saw. Um, router table. Uh, I do have plans for this actually. I'm going to make my own um, large router table with drawers and everything. And um, I'm going to use actually this alumi nice aluminium top and sink it in and um, just make the whole thing bigger because this is just too small. Um, yeah, storage of metal. Uh, this bench actually um, was here when I bought the farm. Um, it's about a hundred years old. It's made of uh, really rough oak and uh, I put some more screws and bolts in it just to make it a bit more sturdy and I, I use it just as a, a really a heavy duty bench and it is very heavy in, in weight. As we come around to the corner here that's uh, more steel and aluminium storage projects that I've um, started and <laughs> managed to finish. Um, so I come, th this actually area here is my sort of welding section. Um, this is a uh, MIG welder and a stick welder down there, welding bench. Um, okay, oh, well, this is a Stirling engine that I built oh, probably 20 years ago. I don't even know if it still runs, but uh, I just put it up on the bench there out the way. Um, this toolbox is full of um, cutters mainly. Drills of all descriptions and other parts for the for the mill and the, and the rotor. I like to keep a good uh, stock of drills and uh, end mills and uh, all sorts of uh, taps and dies and more drills and reamers and padding off tools and most of this is for um, uh, for metal work on the on the lathe and these are inserts for the cutting tools so I like to keep all that nice and dry as I can anyway and uh, come to a section which I normally keep to um, just my sort of Charging section for the drills, cordless tool. You also need to have a stock of fixings, screws, and all types of things. As we move around, this is just my a general assembly and working bench that I, I knocked up very quickly. And of course, uh, so, uh, sometimes I have a flat screen TV here, and other times I have it over on my bench over there, depending where I'm working in the workshop. I just like something on in the background and of course I do like good sound so I got a surround sound here as well. Um, a bit of extra lighting over the over the bench. Okay. Um, wood storage of different types. Other projects that I'm doing, more fixings. Um, up up here, this is um, epoxy resin, and um, uh, in, in in that box there is um, Kevlar and a product called Aramid, which is ultra strong. Aramid actually is four times stronger than Kevlar, so um, I do quite a bit of work with that. In fact. I've got some work packaged up here now, ready for, for shipment, uh, prototypes. Um, oh, here's a nice bit of wood. 
This is um, Tasmanian Blackwood. Beautiful stuff that. I've got a, got a bit of a project to do with that so in the new year. So, which brings me to my sort of main general toolbox which is very dusty. Um, socket sets uh, at the top here, half inch drive, some three quarter stuff, um, three eighths drive and quarter. Um, assortment of grips, clamps, pliers and cutters, screwdrivers and allen wrenches and bits and bobs and uh, more bits and bobs and this side section I just keep for the spanners metric and AF um, this is measuring equipment really more than anything in here uh, this section is tools again uh, the hole saws and uh, uh, lots of other things actually and so on and so forth uh, I don't think I've got an awful lot in, in them oh more drills new sets of drills can never have too many drills in here files cutters more cutters taps and dies Buffing wheels and hammers. So it's sort of pretty full. As we move down, oh, this is my shop air conditioner. Obviously, in Australia, it gets pretty warm. In fact, I've changed my shirt, as you can see, because uh, it's getting warm. It's like over 30 degrees in here now. Uh, this is my old um, drawing board which I probably haven't used for over 15 years but I just can't bring myself to get rid of it <laughs> so it just sits here in the shop um, this is um, I think that's Tasmanian Blackwood again it might be Myrtle and uh, this is my um, sanding and grinding station with the usual stuff We'll move around now to this section. Just a little, um, I keep portable actually, a little pillar drill, uh, a small um, bandsaw uh, joiner. Uh, actually, the joiner isn't mine, it's a friend of mine, so I'm just storing it here for him. I don't use them very often at all. Um, this is a, a, a um, Thicknesser, I think they're called. That's not mine either, but I do use it occasionally. Um, oh, this is for a project that I was working on, uh, which I need to revisit in the new year. My lathe. Ah, when I came back from China, um, I had a little bit of leakage from the roof here somewhere. Anyway. Um, if you could notice a pit in here on my, this is cast iron and I had to come back and rub this back because this is pitted really badly uh, the water got onto it and I had some shavings on the floor because I actually went in a bit of a hurry and I didn't clean up and I think it's called tallow, it's coming out of the, out of the wood into my concrete so I'm going to have to get a bit of etching acid or something on this to clean it up but there we go and this is some um, wood that I'm, I've got waiting for a project. I think my next project is I'm going to make a lamp, a table lamp, and I'm going to make it out of this. This is a lovely bit of wood. Make it out of that. Um, these, I don't know what I'm going to do with yet. Make some sort of plates. That's no, no good. But uh, this, is, this is years old. This is oak, and the one underneath it is oak. And it's, um, God, I don't know how old it is. And it's well dried out, so um, I think we can make some nice things out of that. Um, compressor. Um, oh, Australian Workshop Fan. This is an amazing thing. It's 
well, it actually resembles, um, I suppose, a, more, a small aircraft um, uh, propeller because it blows you away. I'll just give you a demonstration of how effective this is. It really moves air. I don't know how many cubic meters of air it moves, but it moves it really well. And that in conjunction with uh, my portable air conditioner, um, I can cool the shop down pretty well. Actually. Um, cut off saw, um, a lot of, I keep, keep my hardwoods here, the, in there there's oak, uh, myrtle, that's myrtle down the bottom there, a uh, little bit of myrtle and black wood, um, and some hue and pine here somewhere as well, uh, generators um, that I use from time to time, and uh, engine hoist, well I use this occasionally, chainsaws and fire pump, um, very useful here in Australia. I've actually never used it. I don't want to use it, but it's always here um, in case we do need to use it uh, because fire storms uh, and bushfires, uh, you know, you could lose your house. And um, well, you protect it as much as you can. So there we are, there's um, a complete sort of 360 around, oh, apart from the bench, uh, which you, you probably all know about if you've been watching my videos. Um, I find that a very useful addition actually, making this uh, table saw much larger, much more usable uh, with the slate on it as well. It's uh, really good, so that's my workshop. Well, so I hope you've enjoyed my little shop tour and uh, I hope you'll join me next year for um, a few more projects that I'm going to do around here. Um, what I would like to do right now is say thank you very much to my viewers. There is, uh, by New Year's Eve, there's going to be two million of you that's downloaded, which I, uh, it's way beyond whatever I thought would happen. And um, 6,000 subscribers. So I'd like to thank you all very, very much for watching and subscribing and uh, all your comments and uh, I will um, try to uh, respond to your comments um, and write emails back but uh, like I say I've been away for two months and they've backed up a bit and I've got over 5,000 emails <laughs> business and uh, from, from you guys uh, so look thank you for watching and thank you for your interest and um, please subscribe as normal red box up there that'll take you to my youtube channel so thank you very much for watching and bye for now